Hello everybody, it is Monday the 21st of December uh, and that means that it is the 21st day of Rathvent and as is traditional we are going to open door number 21 on my Kinder Chocolate Mini Advent Calendar um, or Rathvent Calendar if you will. Um, the door itself covers the uh, right hand, left hand of the cheery snowman who was holding up a sign saying this calendar belongs to wee Andy until we took out much of his head with the lovely Christmas star. Today's guest guesser, um, who will be guesting her guesses, uh, is Ellen Griffiths, age 10, uh, who has suggested that behind door number 21 there might be any number of things, but specifically a snowman, as is traditional, a jar of Christmas cookies, or Mickey Mouse soaring up a Christmas tree. I'm now going to give you a quick raft break uh, in which to place your own guesses as to what you think might be behind the door number 21. Um, do you think it's going to be, uh, do you agree with uh, Ellen? Do you think it's going to be a snowman, a jar of cookies, or <sighs> popular entertainment mascot Mickey Mouse soaring up a Christmas tree? Or do you think it's going to be something else? It could be, it could be either. Some of which won't leave me open to legal prosecutions for, uh, for infringing intellectual property rights in the United States. Anyway, 12 seconds, place your guesses, lock them in now, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Let's find out what's behind door number 21. Will it be a snowman as is traditional? A jar of cookies? Or Mickey Mouse soaring up a Christmas tree? It is... Ta-da! Oh, oh. Right, I'm just going to very quickly check with my lawyer as to what I can say here. Okay, my lawyer tells me that we should be all right... Uh, as long as nobody from Walt Disney actually sees this. It does appear to be a very badly drawn Mickey Mouse having just chopped up a magical Christmas tree of some sort, which has, as you can see, a little face here. Uh, and he's crying out his traditional uh, Mickey Mouse catchphrase. Oh, capitalism! Um, celebrating the heinous act that he has committed with his axe against the magical Christmas tree. Um all resemblances to any characters owned by major entertainment corporations, living or dead, are purely coincidental. Um, mm, this could prove problematic, but probably not as problematic as that time I suggested that wrapping paper was... Anyway. Anyway. Um, that was day 21. I'm as surprised as anyone, uh, as is traditional. Um, and all that remains now is for me to leave you with our fun Yuletide fact, which is, of course, fun rather than educational. And today, I'm afraid it's another Yuletide fact that comes from, from Catalan. And I think we all know what that's going to mean. Anyway, I shall see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Catalonian nativity displays often include a unique figure called a cagana. In Catalonia, as well as in the rest of Spain and in most of Italy and southern France, traditional Christmas decorations often consist of a large model of the city of Bethlehem, similar to the nativity scenes of the English-speaking world, but encompassing the entire city rather than just the typical manger scene. The pesebre is often a reproduction of a pastoral scene, a traditional Catalan Masia farmhouse as a central setting with the child in a manger and outlying scenes including a washerwoman by a river, a woman spinning, shepherds herding their sheep or walking towards the manger with gifts and so on. In Catalonia the more traditional figures are joined by a cagana, a little man depicted in the act of defecation. The name El Cagana literally means the pooper. Believed to have entered the nativity scene by the late 17th or early 18th century, an eminent folklorist called it an essential piece and the most popular figure of the nativity scene. It can also be found in other parts of southwestern Europe, including Mercia, where they are called Cagones, France, 
Père Lacolique, Naples, Cacone or Pastore Chicaca, and Portugal, Cagoz. A traditional Cagana figurine is depicted as a peasant man wearing the traditional Catalan red cap, the Baratina, and with his trousers down, showing a bare backside and pooping. At least since the 1970s, the figure of a traditional Catalan peasant woman was also added. The Catalans have modified this tradition a great deal since the 1940s. In addition to traditional Cagana design, one can easily find other characters assuming the Cagana position, such as nuns, devils, Santa Claus, celebrities, athletes, historical figures, and both Spanish and British royalty. Accompanying the traditional characters of the nativity, the Cagana is often tucked away in a corner of the model, typically nowhere near the manger scene. A tradition in Catalonia is to have children find the hidden figure. There's lots of theories about what the Cagana represents, including the idea that by pooping, he is fertilising the earth. Regardless of the truth, the figures remain popular components of nativity scenes across Catalan and beyond. <laughs>